This video focuses on John Deere tractors with a blown F1 fuse. It's a very common issue with many models and sizes of deer. I'll show you by example the situation for my 5425. Stepping into the cab, first I'll show you the main fuse block area. F1 is a fuse that keeps blowing whenever I replace it. I've already gone through a couple fuses before this. Now I've replaced the 20 amp with a 25 temporarily, but nothing larger than 20 should be inserted here. It blows each time I turn the key onto the run position. The tractor won't start and all instrumentation is dead. Looking at the fuse diagram, F1 is for the key switch. This switch is used to power instrumentation and many other operational parts. Before you do anything else, including other diagnostics or tearing apart the instrument panel like I did, watch this video and try this test. Go out to the engine. In the front of the engine is a radiator hose between the radiator and the engine block. At the base of the radiator hose is a sensor. There's a connector on the sensor and the sensor detects the water temperature. Disconnect that sensor. With a fresh F1 fuse, now try to start the engine. There we go. So as soon as I unplugged that sensor, my fuse stopped blowing and I was able to start the tractor and tractor runs. In this situation, as you can see, even though I have no instrumentation, no panel or anything else up here on my dashboard, it will run. So first thing is, um, try that out. See if this uh, silly sensor here, which goes to a lot of John Deere tractors, is your problem. Just unconnect it, disconnect it, and see if that works. Uh, once you have proven that that's the problem, you can replace this. And uh, if you, uh, especially if you think that you need um, glow plugs to operate when it's cold. If you don't have that situation, this may be unnecessary. But uh, still, if you want everything to work, uh, replace that sensor, which goes out apparently all the time if you start to do some research on uh, the internet.